Hey everyone, my name is Rune and we are here. This is going to be week number 8 of the PCL and we are up against um, Bulls are Awesome and the Chicago Bear Ticks and this is actually going to be a rematch. This is going to be a super interesting match because uh, his team is quite a bit different from the last time we faced off and uh, he had one of the best counter teams to me all season long so far. So I'm super interested to see what comes this time. He does have the Haxorus, Hoopa Unbound, um, Infernape, Mega Mawile, Rabombi, and Mew. Okay. So, I try to change th things up quite a bit as well. And we don't see Dawn Fan, which is super interesting to me. Um, does he even really have Hazard? Well, he has the Mew. Honestly, I kind of want to just lead off with... Um... Tornadus, like I originally planned, because... My original plan was to lead off with the Tornadus and to try to um, taunt any potential Dawn fan, something like that. But no matter what he wants to lead off with, I would not mind just leading off with the Torn. It's going to be the same type of thing as last week where no matter what he leads off with, I can kind of deal with it. I can taunt it if I have to. I can... Um, Toxic, get a Toxic off if I, if I have to, whatever um, I want to do, I think Tornadus gives me the most flexibility there. But, unfortunately, my Tornadus does not have, um, my Tornadus is not particularly fast, and my Tornadus um, does not have U-turn, which is super unfortunate. I hate the idea of bringing a Tornadus with no U-turn, but uh, unfortunately it is what it is. I had to have Air Slash and Heat Wave. And then Toxic and Taunt. Before right now, I feel like I can just get a Heat Wave off. Let me see. Against a Mawile? This is a very defensive Tornadus as well. This is almost max defense Tornadus. And even then, we are not taking hits particularly well. But Heat Wave is doing over half. It looks like no matter what. And that's damage that I kind of just have to take. If he swords dance up, if he swords dances up, that'd be pretty darn bad. But part of me is saying that I don't have a choice, really. I'm gonna just try to hit the heat wave. Does stay in. I really wouldn't be surprised if he just goes for a turn one swords dance. Although I don't know, that'd be a wild, wild play. Um, does let me get the heat wave off. We do just over half and go straight up for a play rough. So, yeah, by the looks of it, I could try to switch out here. I could try to switch out here. He very well might want to just um sucker punch right now. He might just want to sucker punch right now. I don't know. Honestly, I might just want to go into Pyroar, maybe. Maybe. Um. Tentacruel. Tentacruel is max defense mainly for this thing. I didn't take a screenshot, but I'm going to take a screenshot of the bottom screen. Of his team on the bottom screen real quick. But. Uh, realistically, what is Tentacore really? So well, it's going to be good for the Infernape. For sure, for sure. So yeah, maybe I should stay in. Just give it the Stornadus for all the damage that I got. What's Tornadus really doing for me? I mean, Tornadus does help quite a bit against um, the Infernape, but even with how weakened it is right now, it might not be that big of a help. Yeah, I'll just... Yeah, gets the Sucker Punch off. That's super unfortunate. Ironically, if he had done just a little bit more damage, then my Wiki Beer would have popped, and I think I would have taken a Sucker Punch fine at that point. I think I would have taken a Sucker Punch fine. Yeah, I would have taken a Sucker Punch fine if he had popped my Wiki Berry. 
but... At this point, I do have a Scarfed... A Scarfed Pyroar, which I think might... Be what I would want to go into. If he switches out to keep this thing, then I can click Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice. Well, no, Hyper Voice doesn't do enough damage uh, to Mawa on its own. I don't want to take that much damage onto my Zygarde. But I might have to. No, I, sh I really shouldn't do that. I'm going to make the super obvious play and go into Tentacruel. But actually, what I might want to do is click Toxic Spikes. Because he could try to, he could try to switch, and I always have a Scald follow-up play. Let me see here. What's this thing called? A uh, tentacruel. Oh man, even Scald is a roll. Yeah, so I have to click Scald right now. Even if he does want to bring in the Haxorus. Click Sucker Punch. And yeah, Scald is not going to do enough. But we do get a burn. We do get a burn. And honestly, that really just tempts me to want to... Uh, get up Toxic Spikes now on his potential Sucker Punch. I'm gonna collect Toxic Spikes here. Because if this is- if he goes for a Sucker Punch and this is free... Okay, he goes for something. Is he going for... What's he doing? Stealth Rock. Interesting. That's interesting. But I can spin... And actually, spin might take him out right now. I think he's gonna- yeah, I think Spin might just take him out. Oof, I don't know, maybe not. But regardless, he has to click Stealth Rocks, and I have to click, uh, Rapid Spin. If he clicks, uh, Sucker Punch, then, honestly, that'd be fine with me. But I have to click, uh, Rapid Spin right now. He might take advantage of that. I really hope I take this thing out. Hmm. Goes for Iron Head. Wow. Okay. He's writing something in Discord. Uh, he just wrote, dude, that survive was really important for me. Um, I guess. I mean, I'm not too, too sure. Regardless, he comes in with Mew. Might want to get a defog off. But... What would I want to go into here? Maybe I go into... Maybe I go into... Manectric here? I think I might. I think I might. Honestly... <sighs> now that I just did that... Part of me thinks that he wants to just defog right now, which makes me think that I should have clicked Acid Spray. Rock Polish. That's super interesting. That's super interesting. But that is an easy Volt Switch for me. I don't think I want to stay in here. But what would I switch out into? Actually, yeah, no matter what... He's going to hit me first, or go for like an Axie Plot, which would be pretty bad. But I have to click Vault Switch. This could be really bad, actually. This could this thing could sweep me on its own, which uh, I did not- I would never have expected him to want to bring this aggressive of a, um, Mew set. Goes for the Genesis Supernova, so that's- Almost definitely gonna zig me out. So, let's think this through. What does this allow me to do? I, I feel like I needed extra damage on this thing. 
Also, it's going to prevent my Zygarde from coming in and clicking stream speed. Let me see. An offensive Mew. I really needed some more damage onto this thing. That's going to be a straight Oko. Which, I mean, is not the worst thing in the world, but it's not good. Let me see. Volt Switch was looking to do around 30%. It would have brought this thing under half. And now I need to decide what I can bring in here safely. Probably just the Pyroar. I probably just bring in Pyroar. I probably just bring in Pyroar. I'm going to try to do that. I mean, he's going to probably know that I'm Scarfed, and I have to take a Psychic. Before, actually, I could just Dark Pulse. Uh, no, Fire Blast is a little bit more, but um, he would know that I'm Scarfed, probably. But he's going to have to wonder whether or not... Um, basically, I would have to know what he crapped, and I have no idea what he crapped. Um, my... Oh yeah, I did not bring a particularly fast Pyroar. I brought a Pyroar that hits 150 speed, which is an adamant Haxorus. So, I'll click Fire Blast, but, uh, goes for the an Aura Sphere. We have to just take one. We do take one. And, alright, we missed Fire Blast. That's totally neat. How many turns of Psychic Terrain are left? Three turns. They're going to be two turns after this, so I have to sack. So Pyro's going to go down, and then there's two more turns. I probably give up my Tentacruel. And then... Oh wait, if this thing only has... Psychic Rock Polish... Psychic Rock Polish... An aura sphere, so does he have the ice beam? I could try to aggressively switch into my tentacruel just to buy myself a turn. It does go for the psychic. That's fine. It, it really doesn't lose me anything because um the whole time what I had to do was was, um, sack off the Pyro that turn, and then sack off, um, sack off, uh, Tentacruel next turn. So I don't really lose anything, quote-unquote, but, um, I really needed that damage. I'm really trapped here. You know what? I, th I think I might as well just write GG, man. I, I don't think I'd get out of this. So now, th so now the real question is, am I more willing to give up my... My... My Zygarde or my Como o Because only one of them is going to be able to go for the rest of this match. And which one is more likely to win this match? for me. It might be... It might be my... It might be my coma o but my coma is never going to get a chance to do anything, really. Yeah, no, it, it has to be my... I have to sack off my coma o I have to click... Is it even worth clicking Dragon Dance? I have to click EQ. Yeah, no, it was never a Como-O because even if... Um, 
Even if my Como does make it out of this, then Rabombi uh, handles me. But this is going to allow my Zygarde to come in. It's going to allow me to extre click Extreme Speed. Even though really the only way that I win is to um, click Dragon Dance. I need one Dragon Dance up, and this thing potentially wins, but even then... It's kind of not going to happen for me. Um... I mean, if he really wanted to play for differential, he could switch into Haxorus, knowing that I'm going to extreme speed. And then knowing that I have to click Outrage, he could have gone into either the Rabombi or the Mawile, but um, apparently he's not going to do that. He's going to let this thing get extreme speeded. So it's a 4-0, fair enough. Um, Rabombi comes in and KOs me. Rabombi comes in and KOs me. Unless I get a Life Orb Extreme Speed crit. That would be interesting. <laughs> Barry is going to be Rabombi, yeah. Uh, Extreme Speed crit would not KO. Even if it's a no bulk Rabombi. I have to. The only way that I would win is if I take a Moonblast. But I feel like I have to click Dragon Dance. I mean, I'm going to. And there it is. There's the game. That's going to be 4-0. And uh, that one ends even faster than the 5-0 win that I had last week where uh, Magirna got a 6-KO game. But uh, yeah, that's going to be the match. I don't quite know what to say. I thought I could have prepped that as well as I could have. But uh, that was a pretty bad one. That was a pretty rough one. Um, with that, that's going to be it for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with um more weeks of the pcl and uh, more things coming up really really soon but once again with that thank you guys so much for watching once again out